If you were to go back to when you're either high school or college, you're having a conversation with your 20 year old self. What is the best piece of advice that you would tell your younger self? I think the biggest thing I would say is just find something that you're passionate about. I think passion goes a long way. Like passion is one of those things I always say passion is energy. So if you, you find something that you're passionate about, man, it can go a long way and you'll almost seem like you're not even working. I love that. And yeah. for you personally, like how important really has following your passion been to you throughout your career and throughout your lifetime? I think I'm just now getting into that, but now that I hopped into the, the a later career of real estate, I really see I have a passion for that, and so I see how much easier it is uh, when, like, easier it is based on doing things before. I mean, he was started out. I love that. And so, like, what industry did you decide to pursue a career in? Real estate. And I saw it kind of like you were actually in the military as well, correct? Yes. Okay. And so I'll ask you this: What was the greatest lesson that you learned throughout your career in the military? A lot of lessons in the military, but the greatest one I would say is just. Uh, discipline man like really being disciplined that's like the fundamental principle of life like if you're disciplined like you can pretty much do anything i love that and i'll ask you what advice would you tell for someone trying to get into real estate going into 2023 just dive in it it's one of those things where like you can learn on the go so i know tons of people like do tons of research they uh you know take courses they uh look at youtube but just dive in it because you can dive in and you kind of learn as you go yeah. and that's the best advice i can give yeah. is there a particular uh i guess part of real estate that you specialize in whether it's sales or yeah so we do a lot of wholesaling so uh yeah we do a lot of wholesaling real estate kind of like what's that process like uh, um, so that's basically uh you're basically selling contracts right so you're not doing the rehab yourself what you're doing is you're uh putting the uh property under contract and then you're finding a buyer for that property and so you're not doing the research you're not doing the um the rehab and then you're taking on less of the responsibility so you just buy getting the contract selling to someone else and uh you know on to the next absolutely and i'll ask you from what you've seen throughout your career for younger people today especially whether it's a skill set a mindset thing to kind of have when going out into the real world how can someone start their path to becoming wealthy going into 2023 you know how can someone become financially free in today's world i think just education i mean it's all around us like it's easy now like uh compared to like you know 10 years ago when i first started working like the information wasn't so easy i always say this information changes the situation so if you have the information literally that can put you on a path to make you know endless amount of money i love that and i guess the next thing i'll kind of ask you is you know for younger people they're starting to make money throughout their careers they're looking to kind of invest where do you think people should be really looking to focus and put their money uh, in today's world i'm a little biased but i'm gonna say real estate uh you know what i mean because you know it's always you're never gonna run out of land i mean they, they ran out of land they're always gonna run out of land so you gotta buy it now and um you know it's gonna continue to climb absolutely and so i guess i'll ask kind of like what advice would you tell for someone who is trying to invest in real estate in other words kind of like how do you know when it's a good time to buy in like a certain market like what kind of indicators do you look for when this is like okay yeah this is a good time to buy property so I'm, again i'm a little biased i would tell them hop into wholesaling first because that gives you an idea of what's going on with the market that gives you education that teaches you how to you know how to flip properties that teaches you rehab that teaches you all the things about you know about the market so if you hop into wholesaling first number one you limit your your responsibility you limit that but you also get a lot of education in the process yeah i love that and i'll kind of end with these last two but where do you think are the three best cities that people should look to get into real estate or what are the three best real estate markets in 2023 so i'm saying i think it's austin dallas and san antonio I I would say those are those are some of the top in the uh, u.s right now any, on it. yeah so, any particular reason why just those three as a whole that you kind of just because i mean a lot of people are migrating here you look at you know the tesla plant coming you look at a lot of people coming in from california uh, i work with a lot of buyers now a lot of people are migrating from california in here with a lot of money and so they're buying up the, they're buying up this market so you know that that's kind of the primary reason why i say these, these three markets are some of the hottest markets wow and, and real estate is a really competitive industry i guess i'll ask you like what kind of have you implemented to kind of make yourself stand out amongst your competition? Like what has been your secret to sales when trying to close buyers and close deals? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I think uh, like we go back to what I said about passion. I'm really just passionate about getting the deal done. And so I've always, uh, I came up with the slogan, like Dom does deals. And that just means like I'll do whatever to get the deal done. And so I think that's the best advice that I can give someone. Just hop into it, be passionate about it and be serious about it. Cause I tell people all the time, it's not, we're not just selling houses, buying houses, we're solving problems. And that's the big difference. And my last question for you is, this is a fun one we've been asking people, but if you had to start from zero and you had one year to make a million dollars and your life depended on it, what would you do? With everything and everyone you know now, what would you do? Yeah, I, I would definitely hop into real estate, flip some houses, do some big wholesale deals. Also, I would just really connect with people that are really doing it um, big in this, in this industry. That's a cheat code too. Like you, you connect with people that are like, they're already, you know, well above you. And that kind of, that's kind of a cheat code to kind of put you on another level because yeah. the information is, so, is always there. How important have relationships been to you throughout your career? Oh, tremendous. Um, that's how I got into this. So yeah, relationships have been tremendous. I was on the outside looking in and somebody brought me and kind of showed me the ropes and relationships are everything. And now I'm really, you know, keen on making those dope relationships because it's going to continue to elevate my career, elevate what I'm doing. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much yep. for your time, bro. Appreciate that.